Hello, my name is Jessica Jimerson, and welcome to Intermediate Tutorials for Adobe Photoshop CS5. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you some basic text manipulation for photos. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to open up an existing file I have, um, and this is how the final outcome will be. You see this text here? It looks like it's part of the wall. It looks like it might be a sign for this building. Um, Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to do this. This is the original photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. Then I'm going to click the T over here, which is the text tool. And I'm going to type something. Okay, now that I have my text, I'm going to reposition it. Position it. So I'm going to click Control, Alt, and T. And I'm going to right click and rotate it. Once I do that, it creates a duplicate copy. And I have to hit enter and then I can just go in and delete this extra layer that it creates. From here, I'm going to scale it up until I'm happy with it. Oops. When you mess up, um, control Z is a back button. Okay, and once I have it to the size I want, I just hit enter. And now I'm going to double click on the layer to get into the layer style. From here I'm going to give it a bevel and emboss. I'm going to give it a depth of 113, a size of 0, a soften of 0, a distance of minus 90. Um, the opacity will be 59 for this. And I'm also going to give it a drop shadow. For this, I'm going to make the opacity 59, the distance, oops, 59, okay, the distance 13, the spread 0, the size 3, and I'm going to make the angle um, 135, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control, Alt, and T again, and I'm going to warp. Oh, actually it doesn't allow you to do it because it's still a vector path. So what I'm going to do is convert it to a raster. What I'm going to do is just going to hit um, one of these drawing tools, and you notice how there's an X. I'm going to hit it, and it's going to ask me if I want to convert it to a raster image. I click OK on that, and then I just go ahead and select the image again. Control Alt and T all at the same time. Right click, and I'm going to hit Distort. And I'm just going to drag the ends up to towards each other, the outer ends towards each other, so it looks like there's a build of depth and perspective going along with the wall. You can just drag them out and in depending on what your needs are. And once you're finished or happy with it, you just go ahead and hit enter. And of course we have to delete this ex extra layer that it creates. And there you have it. You can also edit some more by hitting the control alt and T. There's a lot of great options in here. Scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective, warp, and a lot of rotation. It's really a great um, shortcut to get to those options. Okay, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next week.